What stood out to you about Bill's character when you were pitched this project? Well, I think I'd never played anything like him before in my career. You know? um, so it was something new for me, that, that character. Uh, I had always wanted to be in a Western. Um, I used to ride as a kid. I used to love riding. Um, and the idea of being in a Western was just a bit of a dream for me. Um, and then I just think I, I liked the story. I, I loved how complicated these characters were. They were all living in contentment. No one was fully satisfied and they were, they, I, no one was wholly good and no one was wholly bad. It, was, it, it, was, it, was, it wasn't black and white. And I, I found that interesting as an actor. And then Dominic Cooper was attached. He's a very good friend of mine. So the idea of going and making this great event, going on this great adventure with him across, we filmed in Almeria in Spain, in Puglia in Italy and in the Sahara Desert in Morocco. So the idea of, you know, going and traveling and doing that with him was, was an attractive prospect. Awesome. And how did you find the balance between Bill's aggressive nature and his vulnerability? Um, I found it interesting to explore. Uh, I started, I started at the beginning, which was, you know, who, who, what made him this person when we meet him, like, the, you know, what's happened to him before this story for him to be this, this person that he is. And I started with him as a child and, you know, he clearly lost his mother at a young age. And I, I'm, a, I'm a mother's boy. I'm very close to my mother. I used to have nightmares when I was a ch young, young child about losing my mother, which was horrible. So that was kind of a place, that was my access point, I guess, starting from that that place of pain and, and and seeing how that could, you know, when, when trauma isn't dealt with in the right way, how that can mutate into something quite, quite horrific. Um, and uh, as someone that's very unhappy um, and then balancing his, his aggressiveness and his vulnerability. I think vulnerability always comes slightly easier to me to play, I think. So that was, that was always there. And it was about holding that back for as long as possible in the, sh in the show. And then, you know, to really like, like keep that in and, and keep him this like bottled up you know ball of hate and, and anger and then I think as the show goes on some of my favorite stuff is in like episode six when he goes into the Red Lantern and you go he goes in and he plays show I think he plays Chopin on, on, on the piano and then it's just it just like just him doing that one thing tells you so much about this character there's this softness there's this educated side to him there's this you know, you can feel his mother's influence over that. You can always imagine him sat there next to his mom playing that on the piano. And I just, and then he goes and he he, he touches the, the the dresses in 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 Red Lantern and and the material and the softness and the bed and things that he hasn't experienced for a long time. So that I, I love the, the the gradual sort of reveal of his vulnerabilities. Yeah, I found that interesting, and and it was a, a joy to play. Absolutely. And you mentioned that you and Dominic are uh, close friends, so. It, was it kind of natural to get that tension rivalry uh, chemistry? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, his mother was my nursery school teacher, so I've known him for a long time. He, um, we, yeah, we wind each other up so much. We, we, we kind of was part of the reason we knew this was going to like work for us. We were, we, we, we know how to like push each other's buttons in the best way. And we're great friends. We have a lot of fun. Um, but we, we knew we could play this rivalry just right. Awesome. And I want to say your accent was fantastic. Was it difficult to master that? Um, I, I mean, not so, not so much. I mean, a little, a little bit. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously, it's, it's, it's not my own accent. But I mean, as, as actors, I mean, even just like auditioning over like a 12 year career, in, you know, you're doing an American accent like every, you know, all the time. Or, and I played American before in shows. So, but yeah, no, I mean, I, it, I played around with a different couple of ways to play it. but. Uh, you know, I ended up playing, I, yeah, I, I dropped his pitch and, and made him feel a little gnarled up, gnarly. And, and yeah, that was, that's always fun. That's the fun part of the job, you know, finding, finding how your character walks, how your character speaks, how your character interacts and stuff. That was, yeah, that's all the fun of it. Really. For sure. And so we talked a bit about the vulnerability side. Um, for the more intense scenes, how did you kind of get into that headspace? Um, I don't know. Uh, I, you, you, I mean, you just, you find yourself there. I mean, like, you know, the, we started by shooting stuff with Aidan Gillen in his dungeon. <laughs> um, it's kind of done for you. I mean, you're tied up, literally tied up, hung upside down. You get the shit kicked out of you, literally. I mean, <laughs> it's, it's you, you come away battered and bruised and you just go to these places, you're covered in real maggots. And you're just suddenly, you know, you feel your desperation feels real <laughs> as your blood's popping out of your eyeballs and stuff. Um, but yeah, no, you, as I said, you, you fall back on, you know, 
your own personal experience and your, you know, what it would feel like to lose your mother at such a young age. And it would torment me. And, you know, this is before people had therapists and you just, I don't know, you just go along those trains of thought until it feels completely rotten and you're, you're miserable and you're just playing and having, I don't know, having fun sounds wrong, but it is as an act to play those heart, that heart. It's to me, I find, I don't hang on to it too much. I find those, the, 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 the heaviest stuff, the really interesting to delve into. Awesome. And uh, so to switch gears a bit, what are your thoughts on working with a visionary director like Terrence Malick on Way of the Wind? I mean, it, a complete honor. When my agent <clears throat> called me um, and said, Terrence Malick would love to offer you a part in this film, I nearly fell off my chair. Um, and then I, I had a call with Terrence the next day and um, I was like, hi, Terrence, it's, it's Douglas here. And he was like, oh, I loved you in that play back in something with Ian McKellen. And I'm like, I wasn't in that play with Ian McKellen. I was like, oh my God, is this, is, is this a hoax? Is this a joke? And he was like, he, his next call after me was with Douglas Hodge, another actor. And it was like, he'd got, got those two phone calls confused. And then we had a great chat and, and he'd, um, he'd seen me in a movie, which um, I don't want to give anything, I, don't know, I, should, I can't give anything away about the movie he's making now, but uh, he'd seen me in a part, which he felt that meant I was right for this part in his film. Um, but he is just so warm and gracious and brilliant. And yeah, yeah, like to have voicemails left on my, you know, lead up to shooting him. I was shooting a movie in Montreal and I'd get it offset, you know, every couple of days and I have a voicemail from Terrence Malik. I was a, it was a pinch me moment, but he has a very specific way of working. Um, he is, he is f full of energy and he's very passionate about this film. And, you know, uh, I, I can't wait to, uh, I can't wait to see how he's edited, how it, what he's done. That's exciting. And uh, finally, you've played some musicians uh, and figures like that. Are there any left that you'd really like to play in a biopic? <sighs> um, are there any? I mean, I'm sure. I'm sure there are loads. I remember. I remember um, one of, one of my first auditions when I was a kid. I remember having to dance with them national ballet in England. I mean, I'm not very good dancer <laughs> to play Rudolf Nuria. And it was for a small BBC film. I would love to make a movie. I think it'd be really to, 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 to tell that story with him and Margot Fontaine. I think that'd be very interesting and something I could physically, that's something, I, a role I could play. Um, but I love playing real people. Um, I love being a bit of a chameleon. I love trying to transform into them. I, so. I haven't got anyone specific right now, apart from Nureyev, maybe, but I need some ballet lessons. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, that's something I'd like to keep doing in my career. I really enjoy playing these real life characters. Something about it just feels like I'm transporting into another time. And it's, I mean, it's hugely, hugely fulfilling and a great honor to play these great iconic characters. So.